Badia style taco. So first things first, the chilies. We have ancho chilies here. Then we go into the guajillos. And lastly, our little firecrackers here, our chili de arbol. So I'm gonna cut these in half. I did most of them already. Pull out the seeds. I'm gonna dump some of these seeds out. So I'm pulling away more of that heat. So I'm gonna take all our chilies here. We're gonna put them in a dry pan. I have no fat in this pan. The pan is over the heat, so chilies go in. Chilies are gonna toast for about two, three minutes. We have three pounds total of meat here. We have a chuck kind of style, that about two pounds, and then I have a pound of bone and short ribs. So we're gonna season this pretty liberally with kosher salt, cracked black pepper on both sides. Ooh, the chilies, you smell them toasting? So we get our toasted chilies, pull them out, and they're gonna end up going back into this braise. And now I could fully load my pan over the high heat now. Once the pan is hot, we add fat. Now we're gonna place our meat in there and we are gonna brown all the sides of the meat. Caramelization, browning is flavor. When you skip this part, you get no flavor. That's why I like to do it in a traditional cast enamel Dutch oven, get the brown, then you could go. About two minutes a side. Okay, ah, we're talking, Liv. Look at it. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Incredible color. So I'm gonna give this a flip. We have a couple different spices which we're gonna add. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of chili powder. We're just reinforcing our chili flavor a little bit. About two teaspoons of Mexican dried oregano and about two teaspoons of cumin. All right, so now that the meat is browning really well, we're gonna take our vegetables. I have an onion split, one carrot cut into thirds. I have four fresh bay leaves here. If you were using dry, dry bay leaves, you can get away with two. And anywhere from three to six cloves of garlic, depending on the size of garlic and how garlicky you want things. So they're gonna go in. I'm gonna top those off with our spices that we just mixed. Those spices are gonna start to hit that fat a little bit and start popping. Give this all a nice mix. Chilies are gonna go on top. These are the chilies that we toasted earlier. Those go back in the pan. And we top this whole situation off with about a quart or so of chicken stock. So this is simmering away. I'm gonna pull it off the heat a little bit just so I could maintain my simmer. And if you look in here, you can see this has been going for about 20, 30 minutes right now. The meat is starting to cook down, but the chilies have kind of rehydrated and gotten really juicy. So I'm just gonna pull out these chilies and put them in a blender. Everything else stays in. And then I pull off a little bit of this liquid just to get the chilies blending. So this goes here put a towel or something on top, you're gonna to start your blender on low and then you're gonna build up the speed. So low. And then you just let it rip. And that's it. It smells like the greatest pot of chili you've ever made in your life. So we're gonna pour this back in and I don't wanna waste any of the goodness. So I take about a quart of water or so and then we just pour off the rest of that liquid right into our pot. This is gonna to continue to braise. This meat has been braising for about an hour and a half. I'm just skimming the fat off the top of the braise because this is what we're gonna kind of get the pan season with to cook these tacos. Look, Liz, it is just melting. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's wow. like the world's greatest pot roast right now. You may now. not even have to shred that. It's doing its job it's, on its own. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Mm, Here's the liquid. Sick. I'm gonna strain this liquid. So let me show you how these barilla tacos come together. They're queso style, which is the cheese. I have that fat that we saved. So I'm gonna take my pastry brush and brush the inside of this, and that's gonna help fry up the tortilla. So then we take our corn tortilla. This is the braising liquid, which I strained. We put the tortilla in the braising oh, liquid. It's just gonna add tons of flavor. And pull it out. And then that goes into our hot fat. Oh, we can man. hear that sizzle happening. Then we take our Oaxaca cheese. This is taco grilled cheese quesadilla. It's like the best of all right. worlds. Now we take some of that shredded meat. 
and I'm gonna wow. put that right in there, kind of cheat it to one side. And this is gonna take about a minute or two. So basically you want a good melty cheese. A super of melty some sort. cheese. Okay. Looking good. So I'm now gonna give it, all right, so it's it's releasing, and I'm just gonna give it a fold. <gasps> And now we're gonna give it a press and we're gonna let each side kind of get a little golden. And then we just have some fun garnishes on here. You could go crazy with it, you know, just have some fun with your little taco bar. So this is that broth that I strained. Pour it right into our bowls for our little dip situation. I mean, I'm wordless. So they're just a little bit <laughs> spicy. You get the, the fat of the cheese, the flavor of the corn tortilla, but it has so much depth of flavor because we dipped in that broth and fried it in the fat of the juice. 